Okay, um, well, this puts you at the center with the Three of Swords, okay? So what I do sense is, um, I remember, if, you know, um, you're dealing with somebody um, who is, like, coming back from your past, who has, um, who you've never had a good history with. And they've never be been honest, they've never been forthright, okay? So I do feel this is one of the pivotal week, and I feel that um, it's going to happen this week mainly because you are an air sign, and we just had that, um, the eclipse in Libra in a fellow air sign. So I do feel that information will come to light. And, um, you know, usually with eclipses, um, it does indicate that somebody will leave your life permanently and it also does indicate like um, to me you know based on the the spread and based on the way this energy falls it does indicate a very significant love relationship that you've had with somebody it could be like a family member it could be like um, a project even like a work partnership that you've invested a lot of time in and um, this is the week in which that energy starts to um, phase out of your life and it's going to hurt it's going to hurt somewhat um for the first i would say the first three days like even monday tuesday wednesday okay this is a weekly reading so the energy is shorter um i do feel for the first you know from the sixth the seventh the eighth you're going to feel this and it is going to hurt um for the rest of the week, though, you're going to be fine. You're going to be a little more rational about this, and you're going to realize that, okay, this person did not leave out of their own free will. They did things that did not, um, that was not conducive to that relationship, and um, you had to cut them off, okay? And you did it, and you maintain your stance, mainly because you know they're not good for you, okay? So what I do sense here is um, you're experiencing, like, um, these two cards indicate to me, this card more than anything, um, regret that is basically overcome. So um, this card indicates like it's mainly a situation that you didn't really want to happen, but you had no choice, okay? Because they are not um, behaving in a way that um, is meaningful, that is, I guess, um, respectful of the relationship that you, you've once shared, okay? And this also indicates to me that... Um, you're not going to reverse this decision, mainly because you are in the upright position here, okay? You're like the gatekeeper. You're not going to let bad energy come in, but you will extend your hand out for good energy, good people to come into your life. So this indicates to me in the reverse position, you're reverting back to this behavior, which is self-protection, and it's, it's very good for you. So no matter who, you know, if this person or whoever has hurt you in the past if they try to come in past in this week and especially like on Wednesday if they try to come in Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday you're not going to change your stance okay mainly because the mind here is already made up and there's more no more like wavering in your resolve so you're going to basically stand firm which is really really good for you because um, you don't want this person to come in okay um, he or she is another, this could also, um, based on the April reading, I'm going to read this as a water sign that is emotionally blocked. I don't feel it is another fellow air sign, okay? I do feel it's a water sign that is very emotionally blocked. Um, if you look at water, you know, the nature of water itself, very fluid. If someone is very emotionally blocked, they, be, they become like ice. And, you know, they, they can use their words to cut they can be very like uh, cutthroat in their emotional relationships and they can be very manipulative too so I do feel this is a person that bends the truth okay and based on that April reading I do feel it is a water sign that is emotionally blocked um, so just based on this situation and you know surrounded by the cup energy I do feel that it is somebody that you've once invested a lot of lot of time in you had a lot of faith in and you know he or she did not deserve your trust and um, he or she was not operating at their best so 
you know, it's best to cut that energy out. And it's unfortunate because um, it's interesting. If they had come in at the beginning, things maybe can be resolved, but they came in a little too late. So if you've already made up your mind, you're standing firm and you're not going to have it, okay? So I'm very, actually very proud of you guys for being able to do that because it does indicate to me that um, it was a great, a very profound love and, you know, it hurts. But you're able to overcome this and you're able to like uh, realize, you know, how much you're worth and what you're willing or not willing to settle for. So at this point, the mind is made up and once an Aquarius makes up, you know, their mind, they don't really change it. So that's it, you know, for those who are watching this as like a... You know, if you're dealing with a person that is an Aquarius, um, once an Aquarius makes up their mind, that's pretty much it. You know, there's no backtracking. So, unfortunately, um, okay. So, that energy aside, on the work front, I do feel that um, there are a little um, difficulties on the work front. These are not major arcana cards, so um, I wouldn't say that that's the overriding theme. I feel that this relationship is the overriding theme, mainly because you're dead in the middle of it. Um, however, on the work front, I do feel that a lot of you, um, there might be like a lot of uh, responsibilities that you're taking on, and I don't feel that it's work-related. Um, I do feel that you're a little distracted by everything else that is going on in your life, so you're not in work mode, okay? So as a result, money is not coming in the way you've anticipated, okay? Some of you might be taking off days like for mental health, mainly because you, you can't um, emotionally invest in your work at the current moment so money might be slow in coming okay which is understandable but i do feel that you know this is not a permanent thing so don't worry about it too much um for those of you who have recently you know left behind jobs as well i do feel that you know new opportunities will come up for you like in midweek if you're looking for work and um the opportunity itself looks very um it looks good, but you're going to be very hesitant about taking on this new opportunity, mainly because um, you don't feel that you can do it justice. You don't feel that you're emotionally invested enough to start anything new at this point, which is fine. But, um, you know, I would say, like, if you're, like, financially strapped, don't worry. Don't take on this job, mainly because, you know, you're concerned about finances. I feel that something else will come along for you that is better than this, okay? So um, I feel that, you know, whatever job is offered, you're not going to be very happy, so you might just like um, take it and then, you know, find something else better. But if you're, you're financially stable, I feel that for this week, hold off on new job opportunities, okay? I, I do feel that they're going to come in, but you're not going to have like a good outcome in the job front, so try not to rush into it. Um, so I, I do sense, you know, in general, we have three cards here and these three cards this is a, a card of success but every time I see this card it also indicates to me that um, like so in this situation you are looking back at the past you might be contemplating a job you've had in the past or you might like have a new project that you're planning to implement and um, you have to like convince others like investors or your bosses or your superiors to let you do it this way your way rather than the way it's been done before and I do feel you are going to have success in convincing you know your superiors to let you implement it your way because they trust your expertise okay so I do feel in general though um, for those of you who are looking back at previous work situations um, I would advise you against going back to it, mainly because um, I don't feel that you were entirely happy. You were pretty much kept in the dark in that situation. So um, it could be like a salary that was promised that they never delivered. It could be a promotion that never fell through. It could be situations in which, you know, you're working uh, at cross purposes with other people in your work environment too. So it wouldn't be in your best interest. It would not be in your best interest to go back to something uh, from your past, okay? People or things from your past. I don't feel that it is going to be a good idea this month, okay? So um, stand firm in your resolve. I feel that you've made up your mind and you've come to a good place. So, you know, just um, don't worry about the money too much. It will come and, um, you know, if a new job opens up for you, you it, it's either or. So 
I don't feel like, um, I don't, I just don't think like from the get-go you're going to be very happy with it, but you are going to take it. I feel very strongly most of you will take this new job opportunity, mainly because finances are dwindling, but I would say, you know, um, go with it, but still send out resumes, okay? And keep your options open, mainly because um, I don't feel this financial situation is going to be here for that long. So um, things will look up for you. Don't worry about it, okay? So either way, I hope you have a wonderful week.